Have you ever wondered what makes up you, a plant, animals or even a mushroom? It is the incredible eukaryotic cells. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Science Query. This is Asha and in this video we are going to explore the eukaryotic cells. Let us first see what are eukaryotic cells? Eukaryotic cells are known as the powerhouse of life. These are the cells that contain a membrane bound nucleus and organelles. These cells are found in all the complex living organisms like animal, plants and fungi. The label diagram of eukaryotic cell consists of cell membrane, Golgi complex, lysosome, secretory vesicles, ribosomes, smooth endoplasmic reticulum, rough endoplasmic reticulum, nucleus and mitochondria. Now let us understand all the organelles of the eukaryotic cell one by one with the help of a simple analogy of a city. First is the cell membrane. The cell membrane can be compared with the city boundary. Just like the city boundary, these acts like a selective permeable membrane with guards. It is made up of lipoproteins and is semi-permeable, allowing supplies in and out of the cell. Function of the cell membrane is to regulate the entry of solutes and ions in and out of the cell. It maintains the shape of the cell too. Next important cell organelle is the nucleus. It can be compared with the city head office, with DNA as the city blueprint. The nucleus is the densest, membranous and almost spherical part of the protoplasm. The nucleus is the life of a cell. Nucleus consists of nuclear envelope or nuclear membrane, which is further divided into nuclear envelope outer membrane and nuclear envelope inner membrane. The nuclear membrane separates and stores the nuclear material from the cytoplasm. Next important part of nucleus is the nucleoplasm. The nucleoplasm is a semi-liquid transparent and granular fluid located between the nuclear membrane. It holds the chromatin lattice to support various biological functions of the nucleus. It also holds the nucleolus. The nucleoplasm stores food during cell division. Next important part of nucleus is the nuclear pore. It regulates the transportation of molecules between the nucleus and the cytoplasm. Next is nucleolus. The nucleolus is a small, dense, spherical part of the nucleus. It is the reservoir of nucleic acid. The function of nucleolus is to synthesize and store proteins. It also plays a special role in the chromosomal movement. Next important organelle after nucleus is the mitochondria. Mitochondria acts as a power plant of a city. Hence, they are also known as the powerhouse of the cell. Mitochondria produces cellular energy in the form of ATP. The matrix of mitochondria helps in synthesis of protein. It also helps in cellular respiration. Mitochondria consists of outer membrane, inner membrane, DNA, cristae, inner membrane space, matrix, ribosome. Mitochondria plays an important role in human health and dysfunction in mitochondria results in several maternally inherited disease. Next important organelle of an eukaryotic cell is the ribosomes. They can be compared with the city factories. They helps in the manufacturing of proteins or protein synthesis. Another important organelle are the Golgi apparatus, which can be compared with the post office of a city. It helps in the processing, packaging, transport and release of secretory proteins, enzymes and hormones. Golgi apparatus include cis phase, trans phase, newly forming vesicles, cisternae, secondary vesicles, lumen, incoming transport vesicles. Next important organelle are the lysosomes. They act as a recycling center of a cell. 
Just like the recycling center of a city where all the waste products will go, similarly lysosomes will help in cleaning the waste product of the cell. Endoplasmic reticulum are another important organelle of a cell. Endoplasmic reticulum are of two types, rough endoplasmic reticulum and smooth endoplasmic reticulum. The rough endoplasmic reticulum are studded with ribosomes, giving it a bumpy appearance. It is primarily involved in the synthesis and modification of protein that are destined for secretion or insertion into the membrane. The smooth endoplasmic reticulum on the other hand lacks ribosome and play a role in lipid synthesis, detoxification and storage of calcium ion. Vacuoles are another important organelle of eukaryotic cells, especially the plant cells. A vacuole stores water, nutrient and waste products. It also helps in maintaining the turgor pressure that keeps the plant cell rigid and prevents the plant from wilting. It's like the plant cell's internal water balloon and storage locker. Vacuoles in the plant cells are bigger in size, whereas the vacuoles in the animal cells are smaller in size. Well, that is all about eukaryotic cell. If you enjoyed the topic, then please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe our channel Science Query for more amazing science content. Thank you.